<coughs> Inspiration Nation. Hello, Lee Kemp here for the fourth anniversary show of Inspiration Nation. As always, as always as you can for the fourth anniversary with both Ryan Boniface and Jose Neuer. How are we doing, guys? Brilliant. Thanks, Lee. Brilliant. Yes. Good. Thank you, Lee. Good. Thank I you. Good. Thank you. Very glad to hear it. Thank you, everyone out there, for listening, watching us, supporting us as we are now. Four years old, 14th of March, 2019, the very first episode of Inspiration Nation. A superb interviewer, Lee Kemp, interviewing a adequate interviewee, Jose Neuer, to kick us off for Inspiration Nation. The episode titled The Journey. This will be our latest journey update. Um, if you have been supporting us, if you want to support us at listen to I and listen to I N on Twitter, inspirationnation.org.uk, follow Joe, it's all over social media, most importantly, YouTube and TikTok, Jose Noy, Inspiration Nation, and you can follow us live just like people are doing right now. Get involved with what we're doing, hit subscribe, and it will tell you when we are going and are in fact live. Long intro there. How are we doing, guys? Uh, yeah, you just asked that, didn't you? Did I? Did I do yeah, that? Good. Did we say we're all right? <laughs> I'm all over the place. I'm too excited because we are four <laughs> years old. Four years old. It's brilliant. It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah. So Absolutely brilliant. let's hazard a guess as to what we're talking about today. Would you like to guess, Jose? The journey, right? Indeed, the journey. The journey of Inspiration Nation and where we are right now from the beginning. That's what I'm, that's what I'm gathering. And most importantly, what doing the podcast what impact these last four years have had on your life that's the angle i want to put on this update oh oh i wasn't expecting that okay all right well i'll leave it with you. you you ask questions and we'll ask questions of each other i suppose that's, is that is that the format i don't even know what the format is yeah so on a podcast open. generally one person will speak probably ask a question <laughs> this is I'll it just, it's all is, about the bands <laughs> This is the 209th time we've done it, so I'm sh- I hope you'd work it out. <laughs> well, you know, steep learning curve, right? He gets there. He gets there. Oh, and I am. I feel a bit slight. Again, it might be too much coffee. It might be not enough coffee. Who knows? I feel slightly overexcited. And I think it is because of where we are now. So we are 209 episodes in, plus a handful of interviews that we've done with various people that sit on top of that number. Four years consistently of doing this. We are live all over the place. Countless downloads, countless views on our Evan Carmichael scale. We are bang on track with where we want to be for our long term growth plans. It's all very good stuff. I didn't even know that we'd make it to four years when we started, let alone that we'd be talking about as much success as we've had. So, a very quick pat on the back to all of us and what we've been doing. Can we do it then? There we go. Ryan's got to give himself one as well. Yeah, come on. You can see this live right now on YouTube get involved in the action so that's a starter so to get this going so i don't stop rambling we've probably lost loads of people now because i've not really kept <laughs> us on track but it's a party this is what happens at a party yeah yeah so oh, totally. i was having a conversation cool. the other day with my uh, i was saying with my brother one of my six thousand brothers and i mentioned something about the podcast and he, he threw in oh are you still doing that so obviously he's an avid listener which is fantastic as a start <laughs> <laughs> and I talked about where we are with the growth and what we're doing and stuff like that. And actually, he said more than that, it's probably what it's doing for you is the most important thing, having these sort of conversations every week. And I said to him, I said, absolutely. I said, and we've referenced this a few times, but, and I said to him, and I'll say to you guys now and everyone watching, listening, I would not be the person I am today without us doing this, without this half hour conversation we have weekly, talking about different things, talking about inspiration, soundboarding ideas. Everything we do, the thoughts that go with it, I I generally don't think I would be as focused and productive and happy as I am today without doing this. And that's my my headline takeaway from the last four years. And I genuinely, genuinely mean that. And that's what we're trying to kind of impart to people through this. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I see what you. I, I do, I do see what you're saying, Lee. Yeah, absolutely. Over to you, Jose. What are what are your thoughts on the us being four years I, and what this means to you? Honestly, I mean, obviously, I've been on a coaching journey for the past thirty years. Um, as I said to you before, 70, it's taken me 70. thirty years to get to this point. And you know, 
as I said, those one minute videos before the podcast, right? And then you come up to me, you just talked about, I'm going to repeat the story, but you come up to me and talked about, oh, you know, because actually people on Instagram would say, oh, you, you should do a podcast. And I didn't have to do a podcast or anything like that anyway. Then you reached out and you said, we should do a podcast. Well, I do the podcast. And Lee goes out and returns it. We've, we've talked about this story before, but it's always worth repeating, especially on this episode. And then it just started from there because I was, re- well, I am really passionate about coaching. Um, and how it's impacted me is that one, it shows you can build things. Um, and no matter how how daunting you think it is, it, it can happen. And this is what's happening right now. And for me, this has impacted every area of my life, from my family to my work. In fact, even down training some people today, they 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 are they are watching and listening to the podcast, and they are really inspired by the things that we talk about. And even when this morning I was talking about, I went in, we we talked about, opened up the training session, but we we're talking about growth and how we do hard things and how. You know, it's all a very individual journey. And I was talking about, I, I didn't reveal actually the, the, the things I talk about in the podcast. Or, you know, I'd like, if they want to know more about it, they can watch or listen to the podcast, but some of them have already. But I was talking about, you know, things about growth and the things that I've learned, i.e., you know, you you know who you are. You, you as I'm speaking to you right now, if you're listening or you're watching this, when you're on your own, you know what your fears and your doubts and what you think about yourself. And we talked about this this morning in, in this training session I had. And because they're going for a difficult time, right? They're going through this whole training session. It's, it's brand new skills. It's difficult. It's hard. But I said the true, the true character of someone is when you're by yourself, on your own, and your th- you, your your brain knows your strengths, your weaknesses. It it will test you, and the real you is what you say to yourself when you're by yourself. And I can honestly say that this podcast has really helped me become stronger and i've built some great armor and i was really scared about like doing this stuff going out on social media doing videos and that's what those one minute videos were like building that strength building that armor and now this is me i feel inspiration nation there's nothing else i wear the, i wear my my hoodies out to tennis i wear i am you know i tell loads of people about it i get excited about it it's just made me stronger it's made me more confident it's made me more humble it's made me more thoughtful about other people it's just made me a better human being. Um, and I've still got, and, and it's, it's reminded me that I'm always a work in progress. And it's also reminded me, you know, I'm still discovering things, but I, I know what my identity is in terms of I'm, I'm a coach. I want to help people grow. And it's really helped me define that. And it's helped me tap into what I really love to do. And it's this, these types of conversations I love to help coach people, get them to their next level, right? All these things are really important. Now, for you listening or watching, that's the personal work, right? No one can help. No one. You can, you, you've got to do it. You know, people can help, but you've got to step into it. And this has really helped me step into it and face those difficult things. And as you guys know, I've had some difficult things go on, right? Mental, mental health, depression. I talked about in day one, episode one. I lost my mum last year. All this stuff has helped me get through that. I'm still, still, still painful, right? But this stuff helps, and I want it to help you. I want it to help you, and through this conversation, we'll help each other, right? Because we're all human beings and reaching out. So that is the impact of this podcast. And what I've been so impressed with is that people are interacting much more all the time. There's loads of people out there that need this type of content. That's what I love about it. So by us sharing our challenges, and actually when we fail, it inspires other people to get on board and try their hardest to be the best version of themselves. And that's what, that, that is what this is about. It's the everyday challenge. It's the everyday getting up every day and actually going again, going again, trying to be a better version of yourself, but also being celebrating your wins and celebrating success. So this is this for me getting to the fourth anniversary and us being consistent is a celebration, and I think this is amazing. That's that, I hope that's answered. If I answer your question, Lee, you absolutely have, Joe, in your unique, impassioned way, which we love. Ryan Boniface, the slightly youngest member of the team. I'd say you and me are quite close and then, you know, Joe's a lot older. Um, how has this been for you? I think where I was four years ago was someone that I'm just not now. Four years ago, I was begging for a leadership role, thought that the world owed me something, really struggled to comprehend why I wasn't given the opportunity that I thought I deserved. Four years later, I banged on the door hard enough, I got that opportunity and I kind of proved why I deserved that that chance in the first place but i think what it's helped me understand is it's just given me emotional intelligence more than i ever thought that i'd ever need it's just helped me understand that there are reasons behind every decision and they may or may not be directly related to me i need to just deal with the cards that i've been dealt 
rather than complaining about the cards that I've been dealt a lot of the time, which is kind of how I thought, I think maybe I was back in that time. I'd like to think I'm more conscientious. I'm more driven now. And I see things from a better perspective than what I did before we'd ever started sitting down and having these conversations. I think that the line I want to say is more of a complete person, but that I don't think that'd be fair. So I'm not sure. I'm not sure anyone really is a complete person, but I think having the the skills and the emotional intelligence to understand what people need and when is a is a huge driver is to being a better person for the people around you. I think that's something that I've learned primarily through this podcast and over the last four years. Love that. Love that. I, I really do. Yeah. Just quick, Joe. I know you're keeping on a TikTok on YouTube. Prairie Dodgers. Just want to say hello. Thanks for joining us. Saying hello in the chat. I, I want to shout Cindy, out because I we love you, excited, Cindy. Joe. We love you, Cindy. <laughs> I know. I know, Prairie Dodgers. I know. We love you, Cindy. Brilliant. Thank you so much. I'm not. See, I can't see the YouTube. So really, I'm relying. That's why I was shouting it out. I thought you'd enjoy that. Yeah, I can't see. I can't see the YouTube because it's just uh, I can't. But yeah, if you can. Oh, fabulous. Oh, welcome, Cindy. That's w- wonderful for our full fur. Uh, fourth birthday that's brilliant um i want to give a shout out on tiktok actually to anna plastics um said i sent weights because you are strong-minded individual i thought that was lovely actually thank you so much anna plastic i love that thank you it's really great the love that's coming out we got to get in likes and everything so oh cindy don't forget to like if you're on youtube if you're on youtube please like it gets the algorithm out there so lee i'll leave you in charge 100 percent like hit sub- hit that like button hit subscribe even if you never come back again which obviously i encourage you do um, that back. helps us with our algorithm it's all brilliant stuff some good feedback there as well saying great insight into yourself so thank you for that um i'm going to tell a quick little story here and then i'm going to ask another question to you guys so for me a real again i like nlp stuff so anchor moment is one of the um phrases i use which is you know a moment you can pin your memories and your thoughts to and lean back to and keep yourself in the moment and one for me was a story you told a couple of weeks ago, Joe. So when I when we first started this and we sat in a nondescript pub chain that normally has unique carpet and excellent toilets, we You um, can say it. Okay. <laughs> I know we can. I just like to do the whole joke like with a BBC oh. thing. But again, it's it's only been four years, so you probably don't quite get these these things yet, Joe. So we were with a spoons and we were talking about what's going on. You were showing your videos and what you do out there and the content. We, you know, we, we caught up on and off for a while and we were having a chat and talking about, you know, your mission for coaching and what you were doing. And that's where I, I just started listening to some podcast stuff. And that's where I said, we should do a podcast. And the whole mission, Joe, was to get you out there. That was, that was my goal was because I know what you can do. You've done it for me. I want you to do that for as many people as possible. You can tell excited because my hands are going everywhere. We've been on that journey, this journey for four years. Three years and 49 weeks into that journey, you were out at a very random pub in a hilariously named place of Lower Dicker. Was it Lower Dicker or Upper Dicker? It's Upper Dicker. I think. Okay, even yeah. better, even better. Oh, didn't it was, even set it was near up. the head. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought the upper was more near the base. <laughs> I'm not even getting this conversation, you two. I'm just going to stay around. This is your, this is your time. <laughs> he, he was in Tank Town. <laughs> nice. Right, so you were there, you were in the cafe, you were talking to someone, and you got approached by a complete stranger who only by the sound of the voice, you, the voice, your voice, the voice of Neuer, said, are you Joe Neuer, Inspiration Nation? From that yeah. conversation and what we wanted to do to you in a random place with a random person being... Sp- because, and they said to you, didn't they? They said while they're working, they listen to this. They listen to what we're talking about. For me, it's just phenomenal. I think that's... I don't know how much more of a button I can put on it, but for me to have got to that point just inside of where we are now, and that's that's what's happening outside of people who talk with us on social media and comments we've got and messages and everything else that's a real real solid moment for me that i'm just it's very pleasing and just very timely with it just coming up to our four years and i think with that as well i just want to say thanks to everybody that's putting the message out there so if you're 100%. watching and listening, like that, this only happens by people passing the word so actually just a bit of context that story is really good i interviewed ian ian meacher who's on the uh, who, who's the local barber passing on the message oh check out you know jose inspiration nation check out the podcast check out. and then that's how it happened i was just trying to track it all back and it's just incredible the knock-on effect the what they call it serendipitous nature of all this and 
you know if you're watching this please share it with, like lee says share it with family and friends because i don't know when this, we don't know what's going to happen again right someone's going to recognize ryan someone's going to recognize lee is what i want i want that to happen i want that to happen um and you know do the tours and all that that'd be fabulous but no i I love this. I love this. Like, yeah, carry on. Sorry. I'm no, no, it's good. This is this is what this is our this is a reflective, self-indulgent episode for us. We thank everyone for listening. We will get to more advice in future weeks, but this is as we talk about, and in all seriousness, looking down the mountain, reflecting on where you've been, having gratitude for what you've achieved, not just always looking for it's a really, really important thing, and that's what we're living and breathing and doing right now. So my next question. Go on. Um you like to do takeaways, Joe. We've done it in individual yep. episodes. And I'll yep. say three, but it could be one. It could be 27. But what yep. w- what would be your biggest three takeaways, putting you on the spot? Three. From three. overall learnings for yourself in this whole four-year journey. I just have to think about that. I actually write it down because it's, <laughs> Which really, makes, it's a big question. Isn't makes it? it's fantastic a big... audio and live viewing, by the way, Joe. Yeah, I, just, I was just writing it down because... Coaching is about having a reflective moment and really thinking about the question. Uh, and that doesn't produce great audio, but but you need to do this. We all need to do it. And I was, I was trying to think, okay, what is it? What are the big three? So the number one was when uh, I talked about the 12-hour walk, right? And um, and I had a lot of things going on, you know, my mum passing away and all this stuff. And one of the biggest, actually, the, the number one thing is to trust myself more. I've learned to trust myself more. Like when I do videos to actually just put the content out there and be truthful and be open and be oh just be myself so if you see me like you see me on the podcast me i am myself this is it if i'm doing training this is me i'm not a different version it might be like um no you might tweak it a little bit because you're in a corporate environment but you will still see the true me i'll still be very passionate that'll be me so trust myself like put myself out there and just do it just just that's what i was really scared of when i was younger and i i've really like I've embraced that. Number two is identity. This is really because I wanted to be a coach, but I didn't believe I was a coach. So I had to get the identity to be a coach. So that's when I started, you know, because I told the story in episode one about going to a free weekend. I'm sure I mentioned that. I'll have to go back. A free weekend. And that's how that whole stage. I'd heard about coaching and then I went on a free coaching weekend. And that's what really solidified everything for me. I had a book of, I had Anthony Robbie's book in my hand, Unlimited Power. And it was pow- so powerful and it was about going, right, Jose, I am now a coach. I am now a coach because I didn't believe it was. I am now a coach. I'm helping people. And that's what started the identity. This, this, and that's one of the biggest learnings I've got. So trusting myself, identity. The last one is belief. So the reason I had a big gap, I don't know if, you, if I told the story, but I was doing YouTube for a long time. I then stopped. I was on and off doing it. And I, I didn't have you guys at the time, right? And I think if I had you guys, I probably would have just continued. But I think having you guys on board with this is just helping me continue, right? You, you guys are so supportive in terms of just keep going, just keep going. And so I had a big break. And then that's when there was a, I'm going to give Evan Carmichael a big kudos for this. I was on Instagram and I told you, there's this, there's this video that says, you're ready, you're ready. Just go, you're ready. So sometimes you wait too long to just, oh, I've got to do his reading. I've got to do... No, you just got to go and start and do some of the smallest thing. We talked about those 1%, didn't we? I think Lee, you talked about it. Just start, just do it. And that, and actually, Evan Carmichael is the believe person. If you haven't checked him out, check him out on Instagram, YouTube. It's massive. It's about believe. So believing in yourself. And I've done, and, and you guys would remember that I passed it to Lee, and Lee, got, Lee goes, Do you know how many pages you sent me of this book to do this whole exercise? And Lee goes, I just basically <laughs> spammed Lee with pages of this book of the exercise I'd done about getting where I needed to be, right? And the last thing is that it's connected with some great people. Now I'm working with Mark Drager, right? And this is all part of this personal development, self-development. And by doing this, trusting myself, having the identity, and then believing in it, those are the three things. And I'm tell- I'm in the, I, like, despite everything that's gone, I am in the best place of my life. I'm doing the things like I, in this podcast, you know, I've lost a ton of weight doing tennis. I'm really stretching myself. I'm willing to throw myself at things which I wouldn't have done before. And those three things, trust myself, identity and belief are the three biggest takeaways since the podcast has started. Love those, Joe. Fantastic. And there's yeah, some really, really good stuff in there that I think are ones for me as well, but I'm not going to repeat your ones. So Ryan, as you had to disappear to get your lobster thermidor room service or whatever it was, 
It's top three <laughs> learnings I love that. for yourself personally from the podcast overall. So I'll mention mine to give you a chance to think on it and then we'll come back to you. So three for me, and this I, I could probably list off a hundred if I wanted to, but top three, things that stick in my mind and are there and whenever I think about them, I resonate back to the podcast. One is my journey into gratitude and mindfulness. Now there's someone outside of our group here who, who put me on this journey, someone I worked with, but I think doing the podcast and talking through it and realizing how much of it is there and actually realizing how much of it I think I used to do and then I stopped doing that's a whole other episode we'll talk about but the whole mindfulness gratitude thing and putting it into practice and being aware of it is a is one of my big things that I've taken away for myself number two I would say Joe is consistency the the consistency is king if you just if you if you do something when you know every day or every week or every month or every hour, whatever it is, but being consistent, you're 90% of the way there and whatever you want to do, just be consistent. And that the results happen. If you do the things you're going to do, it will happen. And where it goes wrong for people, where it has gone for me in the past personally, is where I haven't been consistent. And it's key. I see it in all places in my life now. And number three, and this is the biggest one for me, Joe, and it's probably not the biggest thing in my arsenal of what I do or how I do things or everything but I think it's the biggest because it's the first thing I really consciously remember where you said something that really challenged a mindset for me that has really stuck and that is focus on the journey not the outcome it's, and again you've got to have a goal you've got to be working towards something and I was talking to someone about this recently but by focusing on just the journey what's the step in front of you make sure you're going in the right direction but focus on that next step because actually if it starts to go wrong you can change direction you can pivot you can adapt whereas if you just focus on the outcome and you're not getting there and I think that my illustrate oh, and I referred to it earlier as the Evan Carmichael scale which I think is brilliant because he's obviously the person who put you on this journey but we didn't look at this for years we in fact went for a period Joe didn't we where we were growing this and we actually said let's just not look at the stats let's not look at listens or views or whatever let's just do it and I think we went through six months where we didn't look we now do, and we bop in and out, but it's not the primary focus. Over the four years, we can now track our growth against the person you emulate, the person we, you know, that put you on this path to doing it, and we are on track with that. But I'd say we're largely on track with it because we're not trying to be on track with it. And I just that the, the journey thing is probably my biggest, my personal biggest takeaway, just because it was a real shift in mentality. So they're my three and. Over to you, Ryan, with our five minutes left to go. Oh, no, we're right. We've got seven minutes and 43 seven seconds. Minutes. You fill them up. Yep. Seven minutes. I think be kind is the first one that I've learned from the four years of doing this. We spent a lot of time talking about how things affect us and what we can do to be better about receiving feedback or situations in life. And, you know, some of us have had to deal with offering out for things and or, or things that are, uh, you know, a tough, um, and other of us, and others of us have had to deal with that. And you know, there's no there's no line between what's fair to receive and what's fair to give out. And I think how people perceive things and how we've taught ourselves to understand how people perceive things are, are so different now that just understanding that we need to be kind in any scenario in any way that we can is you know is super important. I also want to touch on kind of. It's, it's it's in a similar vein, but it's different in the sense of you know not not judging people as well. Something that Lee you went through quite heavily last year, and you spent a long time. I can't remember, can't think of the word. Reflecting on and, and practicing, kind of not thinking that people were out for you, and that was something that was a big deal for you. And I think that's something that that Joe and I both benefited, but both benefited from because we understood that you took the time to consider where people were, at, were actually coming from in terms of their responses, in terms of their actions, and. And understanding that it isn't all about you and, and the response that you receive it's it's more so about them and the the information and, and the, the emotion they want to put out and i think that's you know it's really important to understand that the world doesn't revolve around us as people it revolves with us as people and you know we're, we're part of we're a very small cog in a you know worldwide machine that, that helps the world kind of spin and a third one it's okay to know it's okay to not know what path you're on and just to have a goal and work out how you get there step by step. I think something that I've learned massively through this is that 
it's good to have these huge goals at the end of what you want to do, but breaking them down into workable, sizable chunks and ticking them off to give you progress is almost as important and as relevant as taking huge steps that tick off half of that. It only makes you a better person, a better candidate, a better friend, a better family member if you understand something wholeheartedly rather than skipping your way through it and just assuming that you know how things work. Um, I think that's something that, that the three of us probably have benefited from. You two probably more than me because you've got more life experience, but I think it's something that we've all benefited, benefited from in some way or another that, you know, as long as we reach the destination, it doesn't matter if it takes us a week or a year, as long as we get there, that's the important thing. And actually, Ryan, it's not comparison, is it? I mean, you're saying comparison... It's, it's a, a thief, thief of joy. joy. We're all on our own journey, right? <laughs> to quote Ryan, right? That was yours. Um, no, I love that. No, I love that. That's lovely. Lovely reflections there. I absolutely loved it. Yeah, that non-judgment. Actually, it's something I still write in my journal. Actually, I wrote it this morning. So, yeah, love that. That's good. I didn't even think of, yeah, other people picking up when I was talking about it. But you're right, Ryan. For last year, for me especially, that was a, that was a big thing. And it's just consistent thinking, again, that drives those outcomes. So back back to the starting piece on this. Lee, hold that thought. I'm just going to just disappear for a sec. Okay. But you carry on, right? I'll carry on. <laughs> Back to the starting thought is what has this done for us as people and, and why, where I said I wouldn't be where I am now without it and, and these sort of things are why because it really has pushed that thinking. Joe changing his camera has really screwed yeah. up our YouTube live because we switched places on the screen. So if you're watching now, do not be confused. Ryan is still Ryan, not Joe. That could be Joe. Oh, look at this. Here we go. I thought this is what's coming. For right, those listening, ready? there is a birthday yeah. cake on screen. We're, not, we're not singing. We're not singing. Yeah, we are. Three, two, one. No. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Inspiration Nation podcast, Liam Ryan. <laughs> and Joe. Happy birthday. Oh, and Joe. Jose, uh, to you. Ready? Blow the candles in, guys. Three, two, one. Oh, Ryan, come on, you've got to get involved in that bit. There we go. There you go, you, you can put on the bottom, there you go. There you go, all the way, look at that. There look at that. For, is that a red velvet cake there as well, Joe? It is it red velvet, nice. yes. If there's I anything I know, it's cake. Oh. You do know your cakes, <laughs> nice. I tell you what. It's nice. red velvet. I would, I'd pass some to you, Ryan, but you're a little bit far away. And you, Lee, you just, you know. So, you know. Thanks anyway. for doing that, Joe. Only, that was really 10, nice. Only 10,000 kilometres. Not that far. Only 10,000. And, guys, thank you for the reflections. Hopefully this has been good cementing the things we've learned. It's been a fantastic four years. Here's to the next four years. And, of course, everyone out there, we absolutely thank everyone for supporting us. Some great interactions on TikTok. People dropping off saying they're going to come back again, which is great to see. Oh, um, Prairie Dodgers, thank you for um, interacting with us on YouTube. Appreciate you watching. Everyone who does, again, TikTok and YouTube, feel free to drop in the comments. We massively, massively appreciate all of that. And, of course, podcast platforms, watching on YouTube as well um, through the archive. Hit subscribe, hit like, tell friends and family. All of that great stuff is what helps us in those mythical algorithms. And finally, inspirationnation.org.uk, everything to the podcast, merchandise, coaching service, newsletter, all great stuff. Sign up if you like Joe and you cannot get enough of Joe. Um, sign up to the newsletter and hopefully we can take you on that journey to enough Joe. I don't know where I'm going with this. You know what I'm saying. It's a good ad. I <laughs> enough ran out, Joe. Ran out there. Enough Jose. <laughs> Bloody love it. Love it. I love it. No, I've loved Four it. years, it's guys. Really... Four years. Next week we start the first episode of year five of the podcast. That in itself is a massive achievement. So I want to thank both of you personally for everything we've done on this, and I look forward to it continuing. Yeah, I want to say thank you to both you two for your support. Always, you know, pushing, making sure we do these things and these things happen. So yeah, let's 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 keep going forever. Inspiration Nation forever. That's what I see. And all that's left for me to do now is count us down. And say, three, two, one, Inspiration, Inspiration Nation. Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch Nation. you guys later. Catch you guys later. Let me know what your biggest takeaway is from this conversation. I'd love to know. Put it in the comments below, and I'll respond to every single comment because that's the commitment I make to you in this community. Also, don't forget to subscribe right over here because we need you to build this Inspiration Nation community to get the podcast out there and to help other people for free. And also, don't forget to hit that bell right over here because if you hit that bell, then you're going to know when another videos go live. And don't forget to check out these videos right here next to me 
because those other podcast episodes that can really help you out. I really, really appreciate it. And lastly, don't forget out to check the newsletter. The link is in the description below. That's where I can talk directly to you without through the YouTube, throughout the social, because you can have a direct communication channel with me through the email and you can get to know everything that's going on with Inspiration Nation and ask me questions and even give me suggestions of what you want us to talk about next. So I'd love to see you in the next video. So please click on those links. Please follow through. Please Let's get this community building. I appreciate you. So until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Inspiration Nation, and I'll catch you guys later.